I'm out here at Montrose Point, which is an 11 acre section of parkland located at the northern end of Lincoln Park. Now I'm specifically standing at the bird sanctuary, or magic hedge as it's commonly referred to because of the hedge behind me. This section has been part of a redevelopment program since the late 90s by the Chicago Parks District. And the reason is that over 300 species of birds utilize this area for their migration and breeding habits. This section, the beach and the harbor are all part of the greater Chicago Parks District, which Chicago has to offer. But this section wasn't always here. It's completely artificially made. By the late 1800s, cleanliness was the social norm for Americans, but not everyone had access to private baths or toilets for a matter of fact. There was a big push by the city to increase public bathing facilities. Wilson Avenue Beach and Clarendon Beach served those purposes, although they were located further inland. Right here was Lake Michigan. Up until 1929, when a 300 acre expansion to the north part of Lincoln Park was started, Chicago had a large amount of inland construction at the time, so the landfill was relocated here to create Montrose Point. And the construction took around 10 years. This was partly due to the Great Depression. Chicago Park District landscape architect Alfred Caldwell laid out the framework for this point. His design followed the prairie style of landscaping, which included using native plants, wildflowers, and mimicking the Midwestern landscape of prairies and woodlands. This was short-lived, and much of his plan didn't come to be, as the army took over Montrose Point to install a radar tower here for World War II. This was just the beginning of the long army occupation here. During the height of the Cold War, anti-aircraft missile batteries surrounded many of the major population centers in the United States. Built under the Project Nike program, these rings of military bases formed defense shields against nuclear attack from Soviet long-range bombers. The Chicago Park District leased 88 acres of lakefront land to the army at a rate of $1 per year per site. In all, they built 23 Nike missile program defenses in the Chicago Gary defense area, 12 of which of these were launch areas and the others were control bases. Montrose Point was a control base for the missiles stationed just south at Belmont Harbor. The six acre base that was built here in 1955 was manned 24 seven and it closed in 1971. Of the 23 sites that were built around Chicago, it cost over $13 million, and not one of them fired a missile. Actually, none of the bases in America fired any missiles. When the Chicago Park District reclaimed the site in the 1970s, there wasn't much here. There was a couple of trees and a hedge. The site sat neglected for the next 20 years, which in the end ended up being the best thing that could have happened. It became a magnet for birds during their spring and fall migrations. In the 1980s, with help from the Park District, groups began augmenting the environment to provide better food and cover for the birds. The site soon had an international reputation for birding, with enthusiasts traveling here to watch the birds dive in and out of the hedge like magic. Montrose Point is just one of those places that has a great Chicago history, and it's gone all the way from being completely artificially made to an army base and now into a renowned bird sanctuary. If you come here now, there's not a lot going on, but there soon will be with the end of March coming up. You can also come here to check out the amazing view of downtown Chicago. It's one of the best in the city. Yeah.